Yeah, so this is the Mondo Spider. It was created in 2006, and in 2010 we upgraded it from its gasoline power to a battery electric system. Um, it's built by the same people who uh, founded this foundation in Vancouver, BC called Eat Art. We're a nonprofit and we build giant engineering art sculptures like this. Uh, kind of centered around energy awareness, renewable energy technologies, and uh, yeah. Now besides the spider, you also have a boa over here? Is that yeah, what this is? this is a giant snake called Titanoboa, and it's a recreation of an ancient snake, snake that used to exist 50 million years ago. And uh, it was created in 2011, um, partly funded by Burning Man as an art project. And it's still under development. We're still tweaking the code and upgrading things to make it perform. But eventually, better. you said you would be able to drive this around with an Android smartphone. So. Yeah, we're actually we've developed for like just for CES, we, we developed an Android app that you can read parameters and diagnostics off the snake while it's operating. And the next step is to implement control with that smartphone. So that spider we just drove walks like a spider. Yeah. And this thing, I assume. Wiggles like a snake? It slithers just like a snake, so it's uh, powered by uh, 40 separate hydraulic cylinder muscles, the length of the body, and it has uh, six different microcontrollers, which are kind of like the brains of the snake, coordinating all the motion. And when you say this is based on a real snake, to scale or...? Yeah, the, the, the real snake, Titanoboa, was 50 feet long, so this thing is a uh, recreation. And the reason we, we chose to do that was um, the story is that the original snake died off due to the climate cooling down. So now the climate's warming up, so we've resurrected this beast as kind of generating discussions about climate change and, and uh, learning about engineering technology. And now obviously I can't go down to my auto pick apart and uh, throw something like this together. You guys are legit engineers. Yeah, we're all we're all engineers by trade. Some of us are artists, um, you know, welders, tradespeople, and we all do this in our spare time. It's all a volunteer effort. So, and a lot of late nights and weekends putting this stuff together.